and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're back here at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland in London. We're back and it's not too long before Christmas. Only a few days to go now until the big day. We're really excited and I'm sure you are all as well. And yeah, we thought we'd come back, get a few more rides in. Because when we were here just over a month ago, we did lots of rides. But there was a few more bits that we thought we'd save to come back for and do close to Christmas. Yeah, a few little bits that we need to do. Yeah, I'm going to start off with the ride on Gladiator, which is the huge booster that you can see there just behind me. There it is, just off to the side. And uh, along with that as well, we've got a very different type of star flyer to go oh, on. Really yeah, and some other rides as well, including XXL, which is a brilliant flat ride. In fact, you can just see that there behind as well. And some other rides here too. So come and join us. I tell you what, it's a lovely evening for us. The sun's just going down. It's a lot warmer than it was just a few yeah, days it's ago. Not that cold, yeah. Oh yeah, I tell you what, it was freezing when we was on our Europe trip. So it's nice to be a little bit warmer. So come and join us as we experience another visit here to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. Such a gorgeous evening here in London. And yeah, we're looking forward to getting back on some more rides. And yeah, starting off just here with Gladiator. And look at this, it's an absolute beast. They actually rename it to Blizzard for Winter Wonderland just here. Well yeah, look at this, should be a nice view up there. If the sun's still shining brightly like it is now. Nine pounds to ride. And yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. Should be a great view. I won't be giving this a go. No, no, have you done it before this one or not? I have, no. No, it's quite intense. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> yeah, no. give it a miss. Oh, you're gonna sit down here and uh, soak up the atmosphere. And then yeah, I'll take you all on for a nice POV. That's the great thing here at Winter Wonderland. We can take you on with lots of on-ride footage. Yeah, look at that gorgeous blue sky. And yeah, crowd levels. We thought with it being just a couple of days till Christmas, it might be really busy, um, but it's just manageable. And that's the thing. As much as a lot of people don't agree with them charging for admission, it does make it better on the pathways. It's get way too busy. It's a lot safer and more enjoyable walking around now than it used to be. But uh, obviously, if you haven't already, make sure you check out our previous vlog back in November, just over a month ago. And also, we did the Magical Ice Kingdom in a separate video and Cirque Berserk, Zippo Circus. Yeah, check that out. If you haven't already seen it, but here we go. Let's go and have a ride on Gladiator. Blizzard is coming up now. Here we go then, so we're all loaded up on Blizzard. Yeah, manufactured by Mondale. And yeah, these are big because each arm can see five people on each side, 10 in total. And then you've got these big fans that power you around as well. It's really cool. Yeah, here we go, nine pounds to ride. You get a fantastic view from up here, look at this. And what's great about this is, whilst we're loading up the other side, we'll actually spin round as well. It's giving us a bit of a view, looking over London. There we go, just leveling up now. And we'll get a spin round shortly, here we go, look at this. Wow. <laughs> it is pretty spectacular. There's the big wheel. Aeronauts over there, airborne, oh, went on those last time. Hangover just there as well. What a view over London. <laughs> Pretty impressive. There's the London Eye over there. The Shard. Wow. Yeah, and that's the beauty of this compared to other boosters. You know how it turns you round up here at the top. Instead of just sitting here or leaning forwards, in a bit of an awkward position with this you kind of spin round and just get this nice view it levels you up so you're not kind of dangling forwards you just get to enjoy it all there's the ice skating rink down there busy yeah but that's the thing with this event now it doesn't get too ott which is good you know with the book tickets now instead of it being free entry i mean of course it was great when you could just stroll in for free but it used to get absolutely heaving and yeah now we'll just wait until the other side's all loaded up and of course we'll be in action here on blizzard oh there we go go on, no messing here we go <laughs> oh she's a screamer let's go <laughs> Woo! a charlotte down there <laughs> hey. Takes a while to build up the speed this one with it being so big. And then we turn as well. Whoa! Look! 
on them. Merry Christmas. I would not have fancied being on this when it was so cold the other week though. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Oh wow! Yeah, I bet this was freezing when it was like minus seven. Woo! <laughs> what a beast! Woo! Oh, that's where you feel the G-force when you go back through the loading area. You think you feel it at the top, but it's like now when you feel the force. Woo! <laughs> it's a great ride, it really is. Woo! Oh! What a monster. There we go, slowing down. I always prefer it when you're the first one loaded up and then you howl at the top just to enjoy the view instead of it being after your ride. You know, I think it builds up the anticipation if you held before. That was really good. Pretty decent cycle as well. Yeah, fantastic. Blizzard. Well, as the sun goes down here in London, just a couple of days to go until Christmas. A great ride there over on Blizzard. And yeah, that's the fantastic thing about this event offering big thrills here in the UK at this time of year. As we've shown with our vlogs over the past few weeks, really, if you want big thrills in a theme park environment, you've got to go abroad at this time of year. While here in London at Winter Wonderland, of course, you get loads of fantastic big thrills. And yeah, it's a shame that some of the other parks can't open more big thrill rides, really, because Winter Wonderland here is always fantastic. And yeah, especially parts like Thorpe Park, they can maybe branch out to do a Christmas event. Uh, Chessington, obviously, we're doing that this trip but it's very small rides that are open. Uh, the same for Alton Towers. I know we have Spinball Wizard, but there's certainly a demand for Christmas and bigger rides. So yeah, I'd love to see them do that in the future. Wouldn't you, Charlotte? Oh, 100%, yeah. Yeah, the parks in Europe can do it. I oh, know, need more open. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Down here at Winter Wonderland. Great place to come and get your thrills, just very expensive. Anyway, we're going to check out a new ride here for this year now. We saw this when we were here last time, but we didn't go on it, so we thought we'll save it. It's Dragon's Nest just over here. And yeah, what's cool about this is that it's the Star Flyer. It's not massive. However, you actually sit in single file on this one. So two riders, and here we go, that's how you sit. Not forgetting, of course, you got this awesome animatronic just here as well. Bit of indoor queue line. Yeah, look at this fella just here. The dragon sounds quite cute. I like how he's listing off the ride restrictions. It's like 1.2 meters tall. And here's a little look at the attraction. Yeah, pregnant ladies. <laughs> I like how he's going through the restrictions. Good that. Fantastic. Now we're off to you get animatronics. Well, yeah, let's go and give this a ride. Golden hour. Got some nice atmospheric lighting on there as well. Six pounds to ride. I like how you got his big claw coming out the side just there as well. A little cattle pen queue line in here. Right, let's go on. Hey, here we go then. We've waited about 15 minutes. It seems to be on reduced capacity, but we're on here, Charlotte. Look at this weird seating on here. Oh, he's got this little lap bar, single seat here with Charlotte's behind. Oh, look at this view, folks. Golden hour, my favorite time to be in a park or at a fun fair like this. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Really nice location, actually, to have a higher up attraction. Oh, what a view. Dr. Archibald over there. Wow. I love this. The sun going down, the lights coming on. And here we go, Dragon's Nest. <laughs> It's funny having Charlotte behind me yeah. instead of here at the side. Hey. Oh, what a great view. Woo. See, it might not be the tallest or the fastest, but it's just a unique seating on this, isn't it? Yeah, the whole tower spins as well. Obviously, normally on these star towers, you have the middle section, and that's what spins around. Yeah, the whole tower spins on this. Oh, Olympia Lupin looking gorgeous there. Fantastic. All the lights on. Oh. 
I said this on Blizzard Charlie, but imagine riding these when it was minus seven like the other week. <laughs> It'd be horrible, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's just a nice temperature. Oh, there she goes. Beautiful. I wouldn't say it rides very different to a normal Starfire, but it's just interesting. You know, we're gonna have to give it a go. Not having a seat next to you. You're a bit more exposed, I guess, on this. If you're scared of heights a little bit. Got Discovery just there as well. I gave that a go when we came here just over a month ago to check out the vlog. Oh, we're going up again. Pretty good cycle, two minutes so far. Battersea Power Station over there. That's actually just reopened. We've been for a look around there. So yeah, we'll have to film a vlog from there at some point. There we go. God, that was a brisk stop. There we go. Hoy Mansion down there, always busy. Look at that, that's always gonna be cute. Very popular ride, Hoy Mansion. And there we go. How'd you find that then, Charlotte? Oh, I quite that, to be honest. Yeah. I like the seating configuration. Yeah, a little bit different. Yeah, it was worth going on. <laughs> the part there, Olympia looping, or of course as it's known whilst it's here in London, the Munich looping, the very famous Oktoberfest roller coaster. And I would like to go to Oktoberfest at some point and see that event. But obviously I did ride it in Vienna this year, which was a nice change. I've been a Prater. Discovery in action just there. And yeah, time for another ride now just down here. I'm going on XXL next. So yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. It's always good fun, XXL. Pathways are getting a little bit busier now, but it's nowhere like it used to be, you know, before it was a paid entrance system. Yeah, it used to get crazy. Yeah, time for XXL. Are you going to come on, Charlotte? I've been on it before, but I'm not going to give it a go this no, time. No, no, you enjoyed that though, Just. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that. I thought it was quite good fun. Dragon's Nest. I like the dragon. It's really yeah, six pounds a ride. Might not be the tallest or the fastest, but yeah, it was like a two and a half minute cycle as well, which is good. Oh. Churros just there. Oh, tempted no, me in. No churros. Why? No churros. It's Christmas, Charlotte. It's Christmas. Love churros. What are some of your favourite treats to have while you're at the parks? Comment down below. For me, I love churros, donuts, and dry hot dogs. Donuts. Hot dogs need salt. Oh, right. Look at the lighting package on this. It's actually a British ride, this one. Obviously, a lot of the rides here at Winter Wonderland come from abroad. Yeah, this is one that is based here in the UK. XXL and yeah it's basically a massive KMG it's amazing this is I really enjoy it sometimes you don't get the best cycle but I'm hoping because it's not too busy should be all right I mean well I say not too busy it's down there I have seen it a lot busier but yeah, I tell you what I'm gonna see how it is and then uh, yeah we're gonna have a ride on there we'll get a bit of footage of the cycling action And yeah, I've got to say, from watching it off-ride, the cycle looks a bit stingy. About 45, 50 seconds, which, yeah, for eight pounds, that's not great. We only wait about five minutes. Whoa! I think we're going straight into it, no real build-up. Straight into the full swing. Woo! Here we go. Of a ride. Woo! I could just 
gonna sit on this all day. Really enjoy the forces. Slowing down, a little bit of a longer cycle than I saw just, but still pretty short. Fantastic ride though, but yeah, I just wanted to be a bit longer really. That's XXL. Some on ride footage there from XXL. Fantastic ride, just a shame it wasn't an XXL cycle. Very short that was. And yeah, it's a shame really that uh, yeah, it wasn't a little bit of a longer cycle. I mean, it is a bit busier. Um, yeah, it only took about five minutes there. Surely another 20, 30 seconds, I think it'd feel like people are getting more value for money out of it. Uh, to be honest, I probably wouldn't have gone on it tonight after knowing it had that cycle. However, I'd already pre-booked online because if you pre-book over 25 pounds worth of rides, it means that you don't pay to come in, if that makes sense. So I thought I'll book a few rides in advance. I knew we didn't do that last time, so I thought that I'd do it. But so yeah, it's a fantastic ride, brilliant piece of equipment. But yeah, it's a shame the cycle is really short there. Uh, I know it's a bit busier, but I still think another 20, 30 seconds uh, would have been better for that one. But uh, here we go. Whilst I've been on there, Charlotte's got something. What you got here? Cheesy chips. Cheesy chips. Oh my God. Seven How much were they? It was seven pounds. Seven pounds. Cheesy yeah. chips. Oh my God. I feel like food's got even more expensive here this year. Rides at the same sort of price as they've always been. But yeah, food's certainly gone up. Nice though. Cheesy chips. Well, I know why you got them. Cause you know I won't tell them. Yeah, I know. Because they're covered in cheese. I like normal chips, I do. But yeah, they look quite nice. Though, to be fair. Lovely. XXL. Brilliant festive atmosphere tonight here at Winter Wonderland. Talk to Archibald down there. I love the Christmas tree. And yeah, you've got both snow jets and ice jets here at the event this year. Two Matterhorn rides, both of them fantastic. And yeah, I'll be giving one of them a go later on tonight. Probably have a go on ice jet, which is the one down by Ice Mountain. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you this one here as well. Hangover, of course. We went on there last time, and yeah, Charlotte braved it. I'm so proud of her for going on Hangover last time. You did well. How are you getting on with those? Yeah, at least you got a big portion. Fantastic. We are going to stroll down this way now towards a roller coaster that we've not done before. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. also been a change to the ride offering here at Winter Wonderland. As many of you may be aware, last week there was an accident that took place on the slingshot ride that was located here. Just want to say we've seen the footage of that and our thoughts with everyone involved. Yeah, really sad to see something like that happen. Um, but Winter Wonderland have removed the ride and they've also brought in another replacement attraction, the Barrel of Laughs just over here as well. So at least it's not just like kind of a big empty space or the ride still standing here, it's been removed and they've put a Barrel of Laughs into place just over there. In fact, that Barrel of Laughs has been at the event before down by the ice rink, if you remember. Yeah, so they've moved it into this location where the slingshot was. Uh, they have got two slingshots here this year. Well, they did do. Uh, the other one is closed at the moment. I'm not too sure how long it will be closed for, but at the time of recording this, uh, then yeah, there is just the one slingshot now, which is just around the back of the Ferris wheel there. Uh, that is still here, not being removed from the site, but isn't in operation at the moment. But yeah, our thoughts with everyone affected by that horrible accident that happened last week here at Winter Wonderland. Well, I tell you what, that is one of my favorite views of the whole event this year. So many different layers. All right, at the back there, you've got the big wheel, you got Olympia Lupin, XXL, Blizzard, Wild Mouse XXL. And right here in front of us, new coaster here for this year, it's Time Machine the Coaster. At first glance, it looks like a normal spinning coaster. Well, if we go down this way, you'll see that it's got an overbank. Now, we did one very similar to this here last year. Um, Heidi, which was a great little ride actually. Uh, however, that had onboard audio. And if you remember that one, it also had fake grass on the trains, which was cool. Yeah, that's not come back this year. However, we have got this one, and this has also got the overbank just over there. So yeah, we'll go and give this a ride. Time Machine the Coaster, it's steampunk themed. 
Uh, normally, Euro Coaster goes in this location. However, as we saw last time we were here, that's at the other end of the event, down by Santa Land. So to be honest, it's meant it's really refreshed this part of the event because you've got Time Machine, the coaster, and then of course that epic police department funhouse that we did last time we were here. We opened the vlog with that. Look at the people on the top there. Are they enjoying the views or queuing for the slide? One of the two. Yeah, a bit of both, I think. But yeah, let's kind of have a ride on this. Lovely steampunk theming. on the lift hill. Oh, it's so wow. What a view. Wow. Oh, them lights are bright on the police department there. Oh. Woo. Very smooth. Oh. There's the Christmas markets down there as well. Oh. Loads of stalls. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Drop on the overbank. Well worth the six quid. <laughs> it's good how you get a good spin around the layout. Instead of just unlocking now like normally does. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> Whee! You spin me right round, baby, right round. Oh my god! Whee! Woo! That's it, fantastic. Oh! Oh, these are loving it here. <laughs> oh, I think they've passed out. Oh, no, they're all right. They're laughing. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Air time. Whee. Oh. That's it. Oh, fantastic. There you go. You enjoy that. Oh, that was good. Fantastic ride. Look at that. Time machine the toaster. There we go. You enjoy it. Right foot is there from Time Machine the Coaster. I thought I was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. It was quite smooth. It was like a really good spin. It's nice that you spin going up the lift hill and then around the rest of the layout instead of just unlocking towards the end of the ride. Yeah. What's going on there? Some great views, not just of the fun house next door, but across the whole event. Six pounds a ride. Yeah, I think that was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed the one last year, but I feel like we got a good spin on this yeah, one more, really good uh, which was good. But obviously last year's was great hiding the coaster. How it also had the onboard audio, the fake grass. <laughs> And also as well, uh, some other nice little features such as the launch lift. Yeah, I think this needed some audio on it. Yeah, some themed audio, but I do like the steampunk theming going on. It was well worth going on. Great ride. Well, it's a fantastic attraction and it always looks really impressive. Dr. Archibald, master of time just over here. Yeah, VR ride that is definitely worth experiencing. And yeah, look at the queue all the way down here, all the way through there. You've got a little building at the side as well. Very popular. We went on this last time. And yeah, it's not been at the event for a few years, so it's nice to have it back again this year. Mainly, to be honest, for this really impressive facade. It adds so much to the events here. And yeah, it's actually part of the Bavarian village this year as well, just over here. It looks fantastic, it really does. Let's look at Airborne. Aeronaut just there as well, a new star flyer for this year that's also got a bit of a steampunk theme. And yeah, I'm gonna have a nice breakfast now. Nice juicy German sausage from just around here. Oh yeah, I feel like they've added some more lighting around here. That's the thing, when you come for the opening kind of day or opening weekend of Winter Wonderland, they've not got everything ready yet. So it's quite nice to come a little bit later in the event and see it all finished off. And yeah, you've got some smoke coming out just there as well. Really impressive facade. Yeah, if you want to see some on-ride footage, of course, check out the vlog from just a few weeks ago when we was here. 
I tell you what, this is good. You can actually order at these self-service screens just here now. Like, how advanced is this? Like for a temporary event, there you go. You can order all your breakfast on here, fries. That's amazing, that is. Obviously, it's called. You get your receipt and then you take it over to the booth. Like, that's really advanced for a temporary event like this. What you got there, Sean? Well, you've seen me eating a big German sausage quite a few times this Christmas, but to be honest, this is probably the last time now, won't it? Yeah, like, probably will be. Go. Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll see you next year for another lovely, juicy brat here at Winter Wonderland, or wherever we are, probably over in Germany or somewhere around the world, having a nice German sausage. Oh. You know what? You get better with every bite. Delicious. <laughs> after that lovely Bratburst. Always a great atmosphere in here. It's busy, but it's not too overcrowded. I remember quite a few years ago, there'd always be a big queue to get in. Now you can just stroll in here. But of course, if we just get too busy, they would cap the capacity. Yeah, you've got the band on down there as well. Charlotte just tried a bit of my German sausage. It wasn't that bad, actually. Yeah, you're not normally a big Bratburst person. Maybe the one you had before wasn't very good last time. Yeah, maybe it was just a bad one. Better sausage that time. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Oh, no, no.
Charlotte. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Feliz Navidad. Reminds me of last year's Christmas Spectacular. Don't forget, we've got another one coming up Christmas Eve, 7 o'clock. There's always a fantastic atmosphere in the Bavarian village, and the band are fantastic there as well. Oh, so good. A bit of the Venga Boys, my favourite. Oh, I love it, yeah. It's always good having a bit of a sing and a dance. Yeah, the great thing is you can just walk in there, um, no queue or anything like that if it's not too busy. And yeah, get a seat and enjoy the entertainment. I really like it in there. Yeah, fantastic. Big part of the event, the Bavarian village. And it's something that just kept on getting bigger. I remember like 10 years ago, it was only a very small thing. Now it's that whole area, you've got the main hall, but there's like three or four different venues for live music now all the way around the outdoor stages about 20 different bratwurst stands which i love it spreads people out which is good as well yeah it's nice and also uh, we've noticed these machines that we showed you for buying your food they've got them all inside there as yeah, well yeah i think that's really good yeah there's loads of them they've got better infrastructure here than most of our theme parks yeah, in the uk right. like you go out in towers you know like you're waiting in some of the venues the order they need those. yeah like fantastic this is a temporary event you've got to bear in mind in a few weeks time this will just be grass again here in Hyde Park until of course the build up begins again next year but yeah absolutely fantastic really impressed with those machines and yeah the atmosphere is always fantastic in the Bavarian village. Now it's really impressive to look at the new Aeronaut Starflyer and yes we did ride that last time we were here in our vlog from November so make sure that you check it out here on Theme Park Worldwide. Right so while we were away on our Europe trip we had a few comments. Charlotte why are you not wearing socks? I did have socks on but there was ankle socks but my sock choice today is fantastic. Let's have a look. And here we these, go. They've got goats on hey. them. Goat socks, there we go. How cute are they? You got these nearly a year ago. Yeah, this is the first time I've worn them. You got them in Las Vegas, I didn't did you? I saw them in the shop, I was like, I need those for <laughs> 12 quid, but they've got goat socks. Expensive on. socks. But they're very nice. Lovely little goats down oh, there. No, You're a bit more prepared for the weather. Yes, I am. It's not too cold at all no, though tonight. It's, like, it's all right here. I'll tell you what, some of the operations on these rides, they are getting that Starflyer loaded up so quick. Quite a short cycle though, because the queue is massive, all in that cattle pen just around there. Yeah, it's a bit busier now, but you can still, you know, there's room to breathe walking around the pathways. Like I say, a couple of years back, it really got out of hand because you, it'd take like an hour to 90 minutes to walk from one end to the other. And it's really not like that anymore. You know, even now we're closer to Christmas. Don't be wrong, it's not quiet or anything. It's very busy, um, but it's just not too much. You know, it, there was points where you'd just be here like, get me out of here, I need room to breathe. And it was starting to take away from the event. And it doesn't feel like that now. You know, it's really nice. I look forward to seeing what happens next year. Hopefully, we'll get Holland Blitz next year, this huge indoor coaster that was supposed to be coming this year unfortunately that didn't make it in the end however let's hope that the you know get it in for next year uh, i think that would be a fantastic addition to the event big indoor roller coaster but talking of indoor coasters of course you got ice mountain just over here on the left hand side which is a great ride that always gets really busy it is just another spinning coaster however it's got some great theming loads of lasers inside and yeah i'm ready to get on another ride now so i'm going to go on snow jets just over here, fantastic Matterhorn ride. It's always good getting on these and making the most of them. Yeah, fantastic. Like I say, you've got Ice Jet as well, which was down the other end, and Snow Jet, which is just down here, right opposite the Magical Ice Kingdom. So yeah, we're gonna have a ride on there. And yeah, it looks like the cycle's pretty decent on this. So I'm looking forward to it, as always. Here we go. We'll start off slow, build up the speed, and then we'll be going maximum power.
<laughs> I feel you. Oh, there is just one thing I need. And that's all of you. An awesome ride there over on Snow Jet. And yeah, not the longest to cycle. However, it was moderate, I'd say, for five quid. It is busy at the end of the day. And yeah, it was good to get on there. Yes, yeah, so have a bit of a stroll around, capture some more of the atmosphere. May go on another couple of rides if there's anything that takes my fancy. But in general, I've been pretty much doing everything now that I've wanted to do at the event for this year. Have a little stroll around though, capture some more of the vibes here. Of course, you've got the lovely photo opportunity with the archways just here as well. It's just nice walking around this event. I've said this before and I'll say it again. You don't have to spend anything when you come in here. You can just stroll around and soak it all in and just really enjoy it. You don't really need to spend a fortune here to have a good time. There's even a free ride just here, the carousel bar as well, spinning around just there. There's two of them. There's this outside one and there's another one down the other end of the event. You just stroll around, soak up the vibes. Really nice. <laughs> You've got loads of different games here at Winter Wonderland as well. Yeah, this one looks quite good with your bow and arrow just there. You're spinning round, think you can win that, Charlotte? Yeah, not too sure. To be. Yeah, <laughs> we don't normally play the games, do we? Really? Nice view over there of Ice Mountain. We been bought all wide on YouTube. We was thinking of having a ride on there, but the queue is absolutely massive. Obviously, we have done it quite a lot of times over the years. We yeah, was planning on having a ride on there, but it's a huge queue all the way down there. Blimey, he's big banana got in the way then. Massive gold banana. Yeah, it does look the part though, Ice Mountain. Always nice to see it back here at this event. City Star looking gorgeous as ever there. Camera doesn't do it justice, to be honest. But I'll tell you what, another big banana just there. I've seen loads of these. Look at the queue of the City Star wheel. Blimey, all the way across there. Big cattle pen queue. And yeah, don't get me wrong, the wheel looks impressive. However, at night, if you're riding it, you've actually got loads of LED lights inside all the capsules, which to be honest, just ruin your view at night. I mean, I don't want to tell all that queue over there, but it's better in the daytime. Yeah, because it's too much light. Yeah, what it could do with Doom really is as each one dispatches, the lights go off um, inside because yeah, it's really bright and it reflects all on the windows. Like, don't get me wrong, it still gets some great views from on there. And it's a very impressive wheel. But yeah, 100% recommend doing it in the daytime. If you want to see London at night and also as well, um, looking over Winter Wonderland, I'd recommend going on the Starflyer or Hangover or something like that instead of the wheel at night. Save this from the daytime. <laughs> Another fantastic ride, of course, Wild Mouse XXL. We went on this last time. And yeah, the queue was big when we waited. Look at this this time. All the way up here. It's a brilliant family coaster. The best family coaster at the event. One of the best rides at the event, actually, Wild Mouse XXL. Really nice coaster. We always enjoy that. Yeah, it's a fantastic ride. I'd love a permanent one of those here in the UK. We're going to score two. Yeah, we'll continue having a bit of a stroll round. Get some more off-ride shots for you. As we enjoy Winter Wonderland here in London for one final time. 2022.
Thank you. And another look there at the ice rink as we make our way out of Winter Wonderland for our final time in 2022. Another brilliant event here in Hyde Park. And yeah, we're so lucky to have this event here in London. It really is fantastic. It's always a delight every year. Well, there we have it. Another awesome visit here to Winter Wonderland in London. A brilliant atmosphere, and it's always great to come close to Christmas as well. Oh, the atmosphere's been really good tonight. Yeah, we've done some fantastic rides as we well. We did. We've done some stuff that we didn't do in the first vlog. Yeah, Dragon's Nest. That was oh, good fun. I really enjoyed that, actually. Yeah, my ride on Blizzard, or Gladiator as it's officially known. That was fantastic as well. Really enjoyed that. Uh, with the golden hour as well, the sun going down. Uh, along with that as well, of course, getting back on Snow Jet. That was fantastic. And yeah, I enjoyed the spinning coaster as well yeah, that was, that good, was fun. Really good fun yeah it's always a good atmosphere and especially in the bavarian village that's a huge Great highlight of this that. event we would definitely recommend it make sure you take time out from doing the rides and um, to go and do that 100%. you've got to think like you're paying for a ride anyway so you may as well spend a little bit longer kind of uh, seeing the entertainment and don't just go ride 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 if you come to this event Have spread it out a little bit you know we've been here about five hours again spread it out you know you don't just want to think ride 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 because then that's when it starts adding up yeah, you know it really does. you want to just walk around soak up the atmosphere really think about Just what you want to it. go on uh, but yeah it's been a really really nice evening some of the cycle has been a little bit shorter but that is to be expected when it's busy, when it's busy. however I do think that XXL the cycle was a little bit too oh, short, so short even for the crowd level there that needs to be at least another 20 30 seconds even with it being busier you yeah, know really like 40 50 seconds for eight pounds that's not like yeah it's not great really but uh, it was still good to get on there though it is a fantastic machine and it always looks the part as well but uh, there we go of course that is all from us here at Winter Wonderland. We'll be back again next year. I'm sure there'll be some new bits to come and enjoy again. And uh, it's always a highlight of Christmas coming to this oh, event. It definitely is. Absolutely awesome. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out our previous two videos from Winter Wonderland that we filmed last month. Uh, coming down and seeing all of the rides for the first time this year, uh, getting on Olympia Lupin, some of the other classics, Airborne, and also as well, our video from the circus, and also as well, the Magical Ice oh, Kingdom. that was really good. Yeah, we enjoyed that last time. Uh, and of course, it showed cases everything here at this fantastic event but of course and both of us to all of you Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas don't forget to join us on Christmas Eve here on the theme park worldwide YouTube channel at 7 p.m. for our Christmas spectacular loads of singing, loads of dancing. it's gonna be great fun but that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there and keep, keep on riding, riding. we'll Woo! see you all in the next video